let's start working on question one in this video so we have two workers that work in a team and the team's output is given by this function uh, so the effort levels and beta is the effect of working together so it's the team effect now we also know that if they work alone then the output of every worker depends on the effort that he puts we also have the cost of effort the value of the output that they produce is equal to p okay in part a what is the level of effort income and utility if they work alone so they don't say anything about the company observing them meaning that the workers are going to decide their effort level based on their own utility and that matters because if the company were to observe them then the company would set a contract where the workers must put a certain effort level but in this case there is no such condition meaning that the workers care only about their own utilities and decide for themselves so this is very important the difference between if the company observes the effort versus not observing the effort now how do we do that we need the utility function of a worker and since we have basically the same output function the same cost of effort function it means the utility function is going to be symmetric it's going to be the same for each worker so the utility for one guy is going to be the difference between the benefit so the money that he makes versus the cost which is the cost of effort given by this function over here so how much money does he make well he makes uh, as much as he sells right the price of his sales is p and he produces the quantity they they work independently now so that's the quantity they they produce it's based on their effort level so this is going to be the revenue that he provides that he makes p times the quantity minus the cost of effort so minus one over two minus one over two theta e to the power of two one over two theta e of this guy we put the index i to the power of two now we need to know the effort level meaning we need to know the utility function with respect to the effort but we have effort only in the second term what we also know is that the quantity produced by this guy is equal to his effort level so we will substitute it uh, in the utility function so the utility will look like that it will be the price times the effort level we will have the price the price times the effort level minus the cost of effort minus one over two theta e to the power of two now we can see our quadratic relationship between the utility function and the effort level right it's quadratic relationship with a negative coefficient meaning we must differentiate the utility of this guy with respect to his effort level make that equal to zero zero so let's see how the ma math works out over here the first term derivative with respect to the effort level is going to be just the constant of p so we're left with p over there minus one over two times theta times e to the power of 2 derivative with respect to e keep the constants first 1 over 2 times theta e to the power of 2 derivative with respect to e is going to be 2 times e equals to 0 let's cancel out something and do the math real fast 2 and 2 goes away meaning that p equals to theta multiplied with ei right we're taking whatever is left over here to the other side and if we divide both sides by theta the effort level the optimal effort level of every worker is going to be equal to is going to be equal to price over theta that's what we just found so this is going to be the effort level what we also need to know is how much money he makes right the income and the utility well that's going to be fairly fast because we know his income is his wage and the wage is given over here this is the wage the value of the production that he makes so this is going to be the wage meaning that price times the effort level so the wage of this guy is going to be the price times the effort level that he puts in and we know both we know both data so we'll just substitute the price multiplied with the effort level is going to be price times price over theta so we will have the price over theta over here and price times price is going to be just price squared divided by theta so this will be price to the power of two divided by theta we found one more thing and the last thing is to find out the utility of this guy so it's a matter of substituting everything we have into the utility function because we have the utility function over here so let's just zoom out to keep everything in one space and substitute um, utility is going to be the following we found out the wage that's equal to p square over theta so it's the difference between the wage right that's the first term minus the cost of effort so let's write the minus the the cost of effort as well <coughs> which is going to be minus one over two so minus one over two theta times e to the power of two and e is just p over theta so we substitute p over theta to the power of two let's work out the math to see what we get we will have p square over theta p square over theta minus 1 over 2 so 1 over 2 theta multiplied with p square divided by theta square we raise every term to the power of 2 so p square divided by theta square now we can cancel out something t with theta square go away this one and this one we're left with p square divided by theta minus 1 over 2 p square divided by theta so we're subtracting the same term with different coefficients 
meaning we have to subtract one from one over two. We will subtract the coefficients. This is one, this is a half. One minus a half is just one over two, p squared over theta, and we're left with the utility function. Hope this all makes sense. In the next video, we go to part B.